a.m. Night Swimming, beautiful song, brilliant band. I've got to introduce them, and I'm actually nervous. Yeah. I never get nervous. You never get nervous, do I you? I never get nervous, and I get a little adrenaline rush. It just takes, what is it, 80% of the world's population to be watching <laughs> you, <laughs> and then you get a little bit jittery. And I don't know what to wear. No. No, this is interesting, actually. I don't know. Um, <laughs> no, 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 no. I, uh, I, for a moment though, I was thinking maybe Ricky's got to pop home first before he goes down <laughs> to bring on the band. But if you are watching it or if you're there, obviously you're not there, if you were there you wouldn't be listening to this, but if you're watching it on TV, do check Ricky out because how do you describe that particular look? Ricky's wearing, uh, sweatpants. I assume they're sweatpants. They're not pyjama bottoms, are they? They're, yeah, they're, they're sweatpants. The, they're sort of, And yeah. you've got just a white t-shirt, cheap and plain white t-shirt. Yeah. And it, basically Ricky is wearing, <laughs> it's like, He's made so little effort. The only the, he could have made the only reason he, the only way he could have made less effort was if he wasn't wearing any clothes. <laughs> if he was just wearing his underpants that he slept in. <laughs> but he's actually bothered to spot on a t-shirt and a pair of sweatpants and some trainers. Yeah, well. I mean, what, Ro Jonathan Ross is going to probably be wearing a suit, one of his you know expensive suits, yeah. whatever. And, yeah, but he won't be as comfortable as me. Well, true. Did yeah. it not occur to you for a moment to maybe make slightly more of an effort? Perhaps put on a jacket. A <laughs> jacket looks silly with tracksuit bombs. Well, again, you could have changed the tracksuit bottoms. I mean, oh, yeah. they're a mainstay of the outfit, are they? It's like they're not changing for anything. <laughs> yeah, I've got very little things that I, I haven't got a drawstring or elasticated waistband. No, sure. I don't really don't want to be bothering with buttons and zips and hooks. There's going to come a point, isn't there, where you're just going to wear, I don't know, smocks. <laughs> baby grow. Baby grow. Yeah. Baby grow with a flap. Yeah. That'd be great, yeah. wouldn't it? Those little mittens. <laughs> yeah, all in. Yeah, that'd be great. And then an oven glove, so I can just get stuff out of the oven, eat it, let it drop everywhere. Yeah. Right? And then just get out of the baby grow, put a new one on, a clean one on. Or those kind of, those kind of red <laughs> flannel things with the, 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 the which cowboys wear. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. With the kind of buttoned up. Yeah, the, 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 the old cowboys. Yeah. Grandpa, he comes out with the shotgun. Exactly. <laughs> and he's, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, the long johns. Well, um, yeah. how's it going with Rockbusters? Has anyone got the answers? Can I, um, Actually, one guy is, uh, he texted in, he, uh, James in Deptford, he's, uh, offered some answers, and he says here, the guy that hated us, famously, of course, we should have remembered, Dickie Anderson. Dickie Anderson? Richard Anderson, of course. Oh. Um, I, don't know, I, I don't know if Dickie's still listening. If he is, obviously email in ricky.gervais at xfm.k, <laughs> co.uk, and, uh, tell us what you've been doing, what, how, how you've been keeping busy and stuff. Yeah. Nice to hear from him. Chris Campling hasn't called, has he, either? Yeah, Campling. The one that thinks that not only is this whole show scripted, imagine <laughs> that, right? But that Carl is a character created by us. Yeah. He's actually an actor. Oh, I found him. Look at that. A that. shaved monkey we got. I'll tell you, you're gonna go along later to the Live 8 gig and you're probably gonna see some bands that can make an effort to entertain you, but oh, if you want entertainment, Rick, you know it. Go on. There's only one person to book. Go on. Me. If, if you, you know, perhaps yeah. I'm gonna do, uh, because uh, I mean, I'm, I mean, obviously a top well, DJ I, I, on the radio, yeah. but where my, where I really come into my own is DJing in any kind of club environment. Well, you told me you were DJing, uh, I didn't go to it, uh, DJing at a, a party, and you said the place was rocking. The place was roaring. And I loved it. Uh, Carl just, just said he was there and they weren't. Well, that's nonsense, Carl, they because you know very well that when I was put, I put on a tune, they'd cheer. Yeah, but it, it was late on in the night, they would have done that whatever you put on. That's nonsense! No, they, they, were they were happy and everything. I'm not saying they weren't having a good time. It was your party. It was, it was alright, but they weren't going mental like you're, you're sort of making up. They were definitely going mental. No, when I put on the no. Proclaimers, they could not believe their no, luck. No. <laughs> they, they would have walked a thousand miles. <laughs> was it good though? Was he, were they really, what were they doing? Were they dancing? They were dancing, were they? It's dancing and that, but they weren't sort of cheering, going, you know, more and all that at the end. What's well, about? Oh, Take wow. On Me came on, they, the, the big, the big cheer went up. Oh, I don't I've, know, I believe. I've been there, done it, Steve. I've, I've been the DJ as well. I don't oh, know. it might be jealousy. It I might be like professional a, jealousy there. Like a, yeah. I think it's because my fortunes are on the up and his are on the down. You know, we all know famously that he had uh, Pilkey's making, making music, music his happen. DJ outfit. Didn't happen. Did, didn't. I did enough. I just wanted to do enough to pay for the equipment. <laughs> and I did. And that was that. But I don't like crowds, do I? <laughs> But you're safe, aren't you? You're behind the little thing with the yeah, flashing lights. Yeah, but I don't, still a lot of people and that. Forced fun. Don't like that. Forced it's fun. It's not forced fun. They haven't got to dance if they don't want to dance. Yeah. Don't like it. What do you mean your fortunes are on the up anyway, DJ? Where well, I'll tell you, I was, uh, hired, well, I say hired, I did it as a favour to a friend, uh, his wedding the other week. And I got there, I was thinking, yeah. Cause I, you know, everyone was, everyone had, had their little role to play, and then people were doing a good job. I love you taking it seriously. And I did, I spent wedding. ages putting together some CDs, <laughs> special selection CDs. I love that! Cause what I did was I, I burned them on iTunes. Did you turn up with your own headphones round your neck? O own headphones, wearing a suit, but headphones. Metal case. Didn't need it, just had them all in one small box. Brilliant. 
Boom. Um, I thought this is good stuff. I got some classics here. Give me an example. Give me an example of the, like the, the, the first hour, the warm up hour. Rick, um, I've, I'm coming straight in <laughs> with, uh, Frankie Valley, Oh What a Night. Brilliant track. I mean, when those beats start at the beginning, who's not getting on the dance floor? Dun, 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 Wait a minute, what's dun, this following up? Dun, go on. It's the Jacksons. Well, I want you back. I want you back. Brilliant. It sounds good at the moment, Carl. Yeah. So, go um, on. I'm thinking, like, at least I'm gonna, I'm gonna roar this, but because, you know, they laid on a good spread, the ceremony was nice, food was nice, I'm thinking this is gonna be the, the piece de resistance. Yeah. Alarm bells started ringing. Why? When I realised there was a marquee outside. Of course, it's a balmy summer evening. I'm stuck inside. Oh. On the dance floor inside, I'm thinking I'm gonna be struggling here to get them in. <laughs> even with, even with flavours like this, I thought I'd struggle, Rick. <laughs> so I'm sat there in my suit. It's <laughs> There- I'm sat behind this little- I'm sat behind this little DJ console. <laughs> I've got all the big numbers. There's one or two people making some token effort, but frankly most people are outside everywhere. Oh, no. so I was livid. Of course they couldn't hear it out there. So I was playing to an empty room, really, and I was furious. I was absolutely furious. Because, oh, no. I mean, what is, you know, you're wasting my time. <laughs> you're wasting now, I could have just stepped the CD on. They're wasting there, Frankie Valley's. <laughs> Frankie Valley's. They're wasting the Jackson 5's. They're time. wasting, you know, D Light's time. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, so I've sat there and there's not really, there's a couple of people making a cursory effort, mainly when they come to get a drink from the bar, they might have a no. little quick, you know, a couple of two. You shout, we don't want your not interested. Or, or either yeah. all of you or, or no all one. All of you or no one at all. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, then there's, there's a microphone set up because people have been doing speeches. This little girl gets on the mic, right? It's being funneled through the speaker system. So every time I put my headphones on, oh, I Miss Dynamite, was it? <laughs> it wasn't sadly Miss Dynamite. Although <laughs> she decided to, uh, have a little go at MCing. She was screeching a little head How off. old was she? Oh, I don't know, eight or nine. <laughs> at their most annoying. <laughs> When, when children are they're most annoying, because they've got a bit of confidence there, they're a bit cocky, they're not shy anymore, they're a bit arrogant. Yeah. She's screeching her head off, so I'm playing, you know, <laughs> and she doesn't just know it. your face! I'm playing into the groove, no one's getting into the groove, because she's- Because <laughs> she's going mental, she's just going, Ryan, what's this, what's this, I don't know what this is, play something I know! Oh. I think I haven't got any bloody DJ Otsu. Or Crazy Frog, I'm not gonna play what, what you- So she's just switching along, ruining it for everyone. And I say everyone, there was no one there, so me, she was ruining it for me. <laughs> I bet you were really I'm angry! I'm furious. But of course as well, every time she screeched, it went through my headphones. <laughs> so I- uh, So, of course I'm- And then this, her dad comes along, right? And I'm thinking, alright, he's gonna- he's I seen just imagine happening. you in your suit, sweating, getting annoyed that someone Living. ruining your set that yeah. no one's listening to. So no one's to. listening to. <laughs> I think, oh, well, her dad's coming over, he's gonna put, put pay to this, he's realised that, you know, she's causing a disturbance. He comes over there, joins in! No. Sits her, sits her on the la- on his lap, he's just saying, hey, she's having a whale of a time, I'm thinking I'm furious. I'm thinking it's his responsibility to shut her up, he's yeah, not gonna do anything. I what agree. can I do? I can't step in. No. And I know very well that if I interfere, he's gonna say, oh, well, she's enjoying herself and no one's dancing anyway, and we'd have just got into a fracas. Yeah. I didn't want to start a fight. No. Cause so, um, I don't know, but he'd have knocked you out, wouldn't he? Someone would have got knocked out. <laughs> and I'm, you know, I'm not saying who it would have been, but, you know, but there was, to bear in mind, Rick, there would have been two of them. <laughs> and, um, so I didn't want to get into a fight with him. And, uh, anyway, so I'm playing, anyway, so my friend came along, he, he, he realised what was happening, and I didn't have the guts to, uh, to unplug the microphone, because uh, they'd have, he'd have known, you see. Yeah. So I got my friend to do it when she had her back to it. <laughs> so he pulled the plug out, she, the microphone went dead, she went, what's going on? I went, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I said, I don't know. She said, where the microphone was? I said, you must have broken it. Oh I don't, I don't know what's going on. Someone will probably make you pay for that. Oh and, uh, anyway, at least we shut her up. <laughs> that is great! But, uh, <laughs> but it just went, it really went from bad from worse. And, and you know there's that thing when you panic, you start panicking, so you start, you're putting on a lot of flavours that you would have saved to the, to the last hour. What are we talking? Boom, boom, shake, shake, Exactly, you're throwing him in early. Love Shack's yeah. coming on way too soon. Really? Oh, Love Shack before 11. <laughs> I, it's heresy, but I have to do it. <laughs> But anyway, in the end, the, uh, the, I made the bride go and get some people in. I thought, I said, look, it's your special night, <laughs> alright, and they're gonna enjoy this. I'll be honest, love, this is a washout, and it's up to you <laughs> exactly. to turn this wedding yeah. around, or I'm walking. I'm walking, and I tell you, they're gonna have a sour memory of this evening, yeah, unless you bring so some people in. Yeah, so everyone in dancing. So I, so she got them in at the end, and, Brilliant. and I'll tell you this, Carl, I mean, I don't know what you say, but they were loving it. They were absolutely loving it. A bloke came over and said, have you got Amarillo? I said, no, but I put on something even better, Delilah. I have never- I mean, wedding crowds always go for Delilah. Less- f a song, of course, about old man killing his wife. But it always goes down very well, strangely, at weddings. <laughs> yeah. They get into a sort of hokey-cokey thing, they went yeah. berserk for it. And I was following it up with, I had the monkeys, I had all sorts going on. Brilliant. Of course, you know what happens. What? I'm going go great guns, people are absolutely loving it, they're rocking it. I throw in, um, uh, Oh, I, I had something cracking on at the end of- Come on, Eileen, of course, was on. People sure. were going berserk for it. Which is unfortunate, because the bride's name was Eileen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, um, then the bride pipes up, I'm throwing the, uh, bouquet. 
So they all traipse off outside again. Oh. I was furious. Oh no. I grabbed, I plugged the microphone back in. I said, what are you doing? <laughs> We got, you know, but they went out there and of course you can't get them back once they've done that because all the women are running around. I got the, I got the, you know, thing no. and then they got to wave everyone off, throw the confetti. They, ru they ruined your day. I was having a great time and they ruined it. She ruined your special day. She ruined my special night. Oh no. You know, what, would you, her head. what would you put on about now, Carl? Well, I thought it was DJing. Yeah. Probably about a world party. Go on oh, then. Interesting. <laughs>